Hello, welcome to the second game of November 2020's PS Plus and this is Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition which I'm guessing is the full the full whack, um, any DLC or a complete edition type of thing so I'm coming into this game with quite high expectations but also low expectations because I can automatically tell you this is probably not going to be my type of game, gameplay wise. However, I'm here to just appreciate what it is and see if maybe I can get into this type of game. But it has had very high praise from a lot of people and I'm really excited to see why. So, let's go in. Um, it's already got pretty cool vibes. I haven't seen anything about this game. I haven't played it. I don't know what it's about. Um, in Wilds Beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we changed, but wait, oh my god. Under palest watch you taught we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug. Fuck. <laughs> Balls it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Music's gorgeous. Okay, this is us. Right, so I have never really played a game like this. Double jump. I'm not sure where the bar is at the top. Okay, so... In fact, the closest that I've played to this is Mario. Which is obviously a very different vibe. Can't do like a double jump. Is that all money? Here we go. So it's, uh, I guess it's... Oh, frig. It's about the timing, right? Oh, hold on. Wait. I'm doing big jumps now. I wasn't jumping that high before, was that? How did that happen? Oh my goodness, right. You are gonna find out that I don't play games like this. But I've been very, very curious to try something like 
2D platformy, so... Actually, this has been like perfect timing. Oh, I just had to hold X the whole time. Whoa. Interact. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Uh, your great strength, Max, you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold circle to focus soul to focus our oh, soul and heal okay so okay that makes sense ouch oh it's telling me to focus I don't, I don't know what's my health bar and what's my focus bar or my soul bar. What's that little thing for? So, heard this is like a Metroidvania type game. So, it's the kind of game where you come back and unlock new areas. Shite. Oh my god, getting destroyed already. Okay, so I think those little faces at the top are our health. And the swishy water in the circle is our soul. We gotta attack things to get that up higher. Does it have to be enemies? Yes. Can't just be inanimate objects. Oh hey, we got um a blue face. I also don't know what happens when we lose all of our health. Oh my god. Our lives, our health. <laughs> And I read that this is like the Dark Souls of Metroidvania games. But I think when people say that, they're talking about the storytelling rather than the difficulty. But apparently it is also difficult, so... Alright. Uh... Okay, so the spikes on the floor there, so... Fuck. Damn. Right, I am someone that just doesn't play Frig 2D platform. <laughs> oh my god. I guess you gotta be fast. Oh no, I died. <laughs> uh oh. So then you go back to the beginning. But my glass is broken now. Oh wait, and we lost all of our little coins. So is this, but this is gone. Oh god. Hopefully we don't take fall damage, it's just when we land on spikes.
Oh god. This is difficult. Ooh. Oh. I can't like hit upwards. Is that right? Oh frig, I was trying to <laughs> use my health thing. I think I need to keep that full as I can. Oh my god. Oh dear me. Okay. We're getting it. Still don't know what this one's for. Can I hit upwards? I can hit upwards. Alright. This is going to take some time to get used to. That's all. Ah, I can. Nice. And I can't remember where any of the spikes were, so... But it feels important to move quickly. Never like stand in one spot. I guess it's maybe a bit about the timing too. And those spikes though, they didn't take... dead us but it tried to kill us god damn it oh maybe that's why it's like the dark souls then as well right so we know that there's a shitload of spikes it's fine So I think we could have also gone down there. Oh, and we can also look around a little bit. Which is nice. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. So that's if I keep going in that direction. Hold on. Not done. Hold on. Maybe we get flying abilities or something? I can't go that way. Shit, right, carefully. Oh my god. Fuck. It's fine, just gonna take a while. <laughs> Alright, let's see what lies. In Hello Nest, or whatever it's called. I assumed I was doing the right thing there. I'm so glad that there was something to land on there because it was just a bit of a leap of faith. The art is very gorgeous, I've got to admit. Dirt mouth, the fade in town. Oh. Hi. 
Tutti. Ho there, traveller. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's a, it's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depth. This is Elderbug. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills this place. Creatures turn mad and travellers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Okay. Many used to come hoping the kingdom would fulfil their desires. Hallow Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. So we can kind of click on him a few times and get different dialogue. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. Okay. Cool. Just checking. I can't go into his house. So we've got... I mean, yeah, let's rest. So that fills up our health. What do we spend our currency on? For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Is Elder and Cornifer? Okay, so I wonder if, just out of curiosity, if once we've looked at that, if we can talk to him again and see if he says anything different. No. Okay. Right. Oops, well, I didn't realise I was dropping straight into it. So I can climb back up there if I want, right? Forgotten crossroads. Okay, yeah, we can ascend. What's along here? A stone door with a simple lock. Right. Guess we're looking for some kind of key. Right. I'm guessing that going up and resting respawns all enemies or something like that. Left or right? Difficult decision. <laughs> Maybe right. What's that thing? That's actually cute. Do I have to can how do I know when something's talkative? And when it's not Oh yeah, that's gonna kill me. <laughs> Right. I don't know why it's like I've been playing games for so, so long, but I never really have been able to get into like side scrolling like well, 2D platformers, like I said, so... Temple of the Black Egg. So this is really interesting for me. 
Goa, Nudo Ilanak. Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveller on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've got a strong look about you. Oh, I like that. That's goals. That is absolute goals. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. The ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. That's cool. For so long I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it myself. And what a time I choose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. Nah, me no to persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. So that's no problem, one only has to look around. Plenty have come before us and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Of course, it's kind. <laughs> Did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place. And such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? I've got to admit, if I was living in that town, I'd probably be one of the people who came down here because I would be so curious. Hmm. Truly a marvel. But, hmm. okay, that's it. Well, it's definitely important, I'm guessing. Was this the temple of the black egg, was it? So we've got to try and find better equipment. I'm glad we came this way first then. It's coming. Is that like a dodge? So we can jump and we can hit. Oh god. Two at once, I think I'll die. That one's faster as well. Getting ready to run away. Oh! Frig. I'm gonna check the other way first. Sort of looking more for the um, tutorial -y bits first. Oh, so every time we go into a different area, fucking the enemies respawn. Oh, well, that little one at the bottom hasn't, but... Right. Oops. How do you know which way to go? There's so many ways. I'll do like a... If I jump on them. Definitely gotta be a shop somewhere, right? Oh, 
What does this say? Not sure on the best way to go. No, I'm thinking the other way is better. So everything seems to take like two hits. Talk to him? Talk to me! Missing something? Talk to me. Right. So we can go down. See, this is the kind of game that I wouldn't. Oh, so that thing there just hit, bounces off everything it hits. That's quite interesting, actually. Um. We can go down. I guess we just need to kill as many of them as we can so that we don't get overwhelmed by them all bouncing in our direction by accident. But then every time we're going into a new area we're respawning the bugs, right? We're doing all right for now. Oh, that takes three hits. hearing these are things that we don't have to get I guess but I guess they're gonna be useful just coming down here and murder and everything Oh, up there. Shit. Oh. Oh. Do you think we're going to get a double jump? I wonder if that thing that's crying out there, this is its kid. I think it might be. Oh. Right, I can't reach it just yet. I'm going to guess that I'll get a better jump. Right, come on. Right, this one runs straight. 
Is this an enemy too? Yeah, they jump at us. It's fine. Got it. Shit. So I guess any time that our thing is full or nearly full, it's worth refilling our health and keeping our health full. Because we're going to fill it up again when we are... Well, I guess these are pointing the way back out of the things so in case we get lost. But yeah, I've forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> no! Oh, you fucker. Okay, I don't like those spikes. Is that... Is that somewhere we should go? Whoa, I didn't even see them. We're good. We're good. really want to find a shop <laughs> so we can go down presumably I want to go this way oh my god there's so many ways to go <laughs> oh man there is literally so many ways to go if that takes us back if that's the part where I bailed out before oh this seemed like there was light coming from here so that's why I went this way oh my goodness oh my god all right that's not where I want to go yet <laughs> I thought he was gonna talk to us Go down here then. Oh, I hear someone. Maybe a friendly. Pale and slight, bury my father with his eyes shut tight, bury my sisters two by two, then when you're done, let, let's let bury me too. But you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that one? It's one of my f favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You can start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a b b beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so what are you down here for? If you came to g get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p p plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my goodness. Well. Oh, bury the knight with a broken nail. Bury the priest something about a crown I can't remember the rest of that one ha <laughs> maybe I'll just hum it okay 
okay. I mean, I'm not gonna. I feel like I could attack and try and get the pickaxe, but I don't want to do that. They seem nice and friendly and harmless. So we could actually go back down. Oh my god. Is this like a healing thing? Oh. That's just something we can hit against so. Beautiful. Yeah, this is wobbly, but it's not actually breaking yet. And there's nowhere. Right. Maybe we need the pickaxe. Oh no. Right. I have no idea where we came from and where we're going. here led to that boss didn't it oh yeah so but I didn't go this way I wanted to see if this brought me back out the other side shit this is stressful <laughs> Also, why is, like, why are these here? And why was there a spike on that one? This isn't where I thought we were. Because there was, um, three of them in that one. it is this is exactly where I is this the black egg place yeah hmm can't remember if there's anything in this direction no I want to go and rescue that little caterpillar but Right, so we've done a loop in that direction. This is back to the beginning. This is back this way to this, yeah. So now I could go further down again. Right, I must remember things take two hits. Whoa, that like exploded. Shit. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> that was a fast way down. Oh yeah, and there was that frig. There was that downwards thing and I don't remember where it was. <laughs> oh, genius. Uh... I suppose things respawn so that you can get more hit things as well. Well, let's see what's down here. Ooh. Hi. Hmm. Ah, oh, hello there. Come down and explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Oh, yeah. I have money. Nothing to spend it on. Acquired a map. Hold L1 to view a map of the current area. View a detailed... Okay. A map can be a useful thing, but alone... But it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not... If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purposing a compass from my wife, Iselda. These are the people that were open in the shop up... Oh, yeah, because that was a map shop, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, or Dirtmouth. Selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Mm -hmm. So we can go up there now, potentially. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologise for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife, a huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. <laughs> Any more? How are you finding my map? I try to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies from my wife up from my wife in Dirtmouth. We've set up a little store to help make ends meet. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Does this reveal as as we go? So yeah, I'm in that chamber there. That's the egg thing. No, I don't think this reveals as we go because what's that one there? Mm. Actually, maybe we'll find out. So we're down at the bottom of that ladder one. With his picture in it. So we can go right or we can go left. What happens if I go left? Oh, frick. Oh, it's down here. Well, there's something over there, but I'm not confident to go and go and look for it yet. So now we're in those tunnels underneath, and I guess that's how we'll get back up the other side somehow. Break. 
I didn't know that we could like open doors like that. Where's all the money gone? Alright, hold on. There's like ladybugs or something over there. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Inventory. We have an old nail and focus. Yeah. Shit. And then ma. Cool. Oh. Oh, we don't have anything else, just those two. Right. Hmm, it's hard to know, like, where's the right way to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bad. Oh frig. Oh my god, heal. No! Oh my god, I'm panicking! <laughs> heal, heal, heal. So if... Right, if I hit it... Oh my god, there's, there's two, there's two, there's two. If... I mean, if I actually touch it... God. <laughs> Heal. I'm glad I, I can see that these things help. They're like shields. <laughs> My god. Right. Well, uh. What's this? I don't have a clue where I'm going, and that's going to happen again next time I go back in there, isn't it? Don't tell me this is just treasure. I don't care about treasure, I've got nothing to spend treasure on. But I think that that other way that I found maybe was a shortcut. The door that I accidentally broke at the top. Like, not a shortcut, but a detour. And I guess I need... There'll be some sort of flying ability a bit later, right? So that we can get over these big gaps. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen again. It's gonna, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, the doors haven't closed. Oh well, it's kind of registered that we already did did it once. 
So it's in that way to what looks like that other symbol on the map. But we can also go underneath. Now I'm a bit lost, to be honest. But this sounds a bit dangerous. You know what? Yeah, we should kill this. Shit. Thought we should kill this so that we could heal. But... Alright, so we've obviously just got to avoid these things. We can't jump high enough to go up there, yeah? I think we can do this easy enough. But I want to go and see what that other one is. Shit, I forgot about this thing. Fire at me. This looks like somewhere important on the map. If I'm in where I think I am. Oh, lovely. It's a healing bath. And we can rest, but what does resting do then? If we have that, why would we need to rest? I don't know if I should do that or not because I feel like that's going to respawn everything. I'm going this way. Oops. Well, that was bad timing. Oh my god, right, hold on, heal. <laughs> so we can go down for the risk or this way to get past. Oh, that's cool. this take us? Oh, it's not a door. What did I come up here for? Nothing. Okay, I feel a bit more confident now. Not confident, but... Oh, heck. Like I understand, I've got a feel for the game. I've got a feel for the game and I've got a feel for the controls a bit so that I can actually kind of land on a platform. Oh jeez. I'm I'm I've lost my bearings completely. I think I should go this way. Actually, where do I go from there? Oh my god, my timing is deadly. <laughs> this is the only place I can go right now, I think, until I've got a higher jump. Like, I couldn't go upwards. Where's my map? I don't know what that symbol is. Hold on. No. I'm gonna see if I can make it upwards.
Oh, this is... This is the one where I could have gone down before, right? No, I'm not actually sure at all where I am right now. But I do hear crying. Shit. Oh, bollocks. Oh, wait, that's... What is this? Didn't even find what was making the noise. Oh, hold on, did I just open a shortcut? This is the place where I thought I was, right? Oops, shite. Oh, great. Oh, no, don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> I want to go down and see if I can find whatever's crying. Where did I even come from? came from below oh my god I want to go back up to the so much exploring to do, it's crazy. We can try this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not ready to be here. <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon, like... Mew. Actually, no, it doesn't Mew's higher pitch than that, but... <laughs> Sounds like one of them. Did I go through this one? I think I did. Wait. Is that the one with the boss? I've been here. I know that I've been here, but when and where? This is the boss, right? You're not selling stuff? Oh, frig. Alright, that's the boss. That means I'm not near the exit then. Yes, I am. This is the egg place. God, this is this is cool and confusing and interesting. And I'm guessing, like I've said, if I rest at a bench, I feel like everything will respawn. Don't know if that's right or not. A 
Aha, it's open now. Hello. <sighs> Bapanada. Whoa, she's loud. Come to buy a map of you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise, he headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. Oh, she's not happy. Um, so, I don't know if this is the only shop in the game or what, but um, Wayward Compass. Highly recommended. If you are having trouble finding your way in the maze of the ruins below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. I can totally see how that's helpful. Um, a quill. You need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. Oh, that's really useful too. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. Bench pin. These pins will mark benches. Oh, so these are like, uh, like, let's say waypoints. That's not the right word. But yeah, um, pins so you can keep track of them. Do, do you have to do it manually or... Shopkeepers. Oh, so there is more shops. Hot springs, yeah. Interesting spots. And... Remind yourself of hard won battles. Yeah, so just two different colours. Okay, um... Well, I guess you just want to start off with the compass, right? Uh, to find out where we are on the map. And then the quill for... Seems useful. Charmed. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Oh. <sighs> Barpanada. Alright. And we can't afford the quill yet. Well, we nearly can. To be fair, we could go down and farm it. The people get new dialogue? Madarula. Did you visit the temple? A strange building I've heard. Though I never dared the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Interesting. A young couple just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get through the door, I wouldn't put up with it myself. <laughs> okay. To equip a charm, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. Whoa, so there's quite a lot, but um... But that's all we've got, so... Cool. Um, I want to pop in and just look at her height. Oh yeah, she's like leaning on the table. <laughs> oh, frig. And then I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pop back to the egg place to see if that guy's got any new dialogue. Yeah, see, everything's back. These things were gone before. Not the white one, but the other one was.
Anything hmm. new? No. <laughs> okay. Right, well then, I think I have explored... Like, obviously there's a ton of places that I haven't explored there, but I think I've explored enough for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. This has been really interesting, actually. It's... These are the types of games that I think I would enjoy playing on the Switch more than anything. But, um... I don't know if I'll continue, but I've enjoyed what I've played, but I've just got a lot of other games that I'd rather play first. But um, so far I can see why people like it and I, from what I've read, it only gets better too. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for hopefully the third game of the month. The first game that I try on my PS5, Book Snacks. Woo! So I'll see you later on. 